Flat earthers like to say, do your own research. So I did. Unfortunately for them. I calculated, using the flat earth model, where the sun would be in the middle of the night on the summer solstice in Minneapolis. And I'm in Minneapolis, and it's the middle of the night, and it's the summer solstice. And so I'm here to check to see whether or not the flat earth predictions are correct or not. So you can see here, <clears throat> I'm at the U.S. Bank Stadium in Minneapolis. Here we are looking south towards the ship. There's downtown Minneapolis. It's a little dark, but you can see up there the Wells Fargo building. Over here is another Wells Fargo building that's easier to see. And this way is north right now. Again, we're back to the screen on the stadium there. I have here my phone showing north. North there. You can see the coordinates where we are. Let it focus a little bit. Okay, so right here, straight north. No sun. Nowhere. Not at all. But according to the flat earth map, the flat earth model, the sun should be about 25 degrees above the horizon, due north, on the other side of the North Pole. But we don't see it. Not at all. We haven't seen the sun for hours. Where is it? Flat earth map, where's the sun? Your predictions have completely failed. Now you may be wondering, wouldn't the sun set due to perspective? Well the nice thing about perspective is we can calculate perspective. It's not a difficult formula, especially if, if the earth is flat, all we need to do is triangulate. We can take the distance from Minneapolis across the North Pole to where the sun is, right on the Tropic of Cancer on the other side of the North Pole every degree of latitude is about 69 miles. So from Minneapolis at 45 degrees north to the North Pole is 45 degrees. And then all the way down to the Tropic of Capricorn. We can do that math. I have it on my website, which I'll link in the description. But right there is an image of what we would see. You see Minneapolis on the left and the sun over Myanmar about at local solar midnight. The distance is 7,676 miles away and we can do that in a triangle, triangle calculator if we take the distance or the elevation of the Sun to be 3,000 miles. And we get an angular elevation above true level or eye level of 21.35 degrees. We don't see it. There's nothing in the way. There's no buildings on the other side of these lights that could be blocking it. I chose a position that has nothing blocking. There's no sun. Now you might say, well I don't choose 3,000 degrees for the elevation of the sun. Well that's fine if you choose a higher elevation then the sun would be higher. And if you choose a lower elevation it would be lower, but not by much. And of course then all the other numbers wouldn't work, like where the sun is in the middle of the day. None of these work. So once again, according to the flat earth map, the flat earth idea, or maybe it's just a flat earth meme, where is the sun in the middle of the night on the, north, on the northern solstice in Minneapolis?